Hello dear learners, I am Dr. Poonam Agrawal. Today I wish to discuss, I am uh, Professor Biochemistry. I wish to discuss the difference between NADH and NADPH because I find the students really getting confused in these two terminologies. They are entirely different substances and I wish to discuss their key points in this video. So the first of all the complete name of NADH. What is NADH and what is NADPH? NADH is nicotinamide, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, dinucleotide and NADPH is phosphate is extra. It is called nicotinamide nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate phosphate is extra i'll show you how the phosphate where the phosphate is extra these two are entirely different compound having different purpose to serve in biochemical system their source of production is different the pathways where they are utilized is different so that is the topic of discussion today and one thing you should know when we say any dh or any dph they are the reduced form of these coenzymes because hydrogen is there right if we are talking about their oxidized form we represent them as nad plus and nadp plus respectively so this also you should know they act as a carrier of hydrogen they donate the hydrogen in various metabolic pathways that is what we are discussing today i show you the structure of nadh and nadph you can appreciate it why it is called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide because two nucleotides are added together in this also and in nadph also nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide see this portion is you guess what it is it is nmn right nicotinamide mononucleotide and this portion is amp adenosine monophosphate both the phosphates are linked of NMN and AMP and that is why you are getting NAD. When you are talking about NADPH, similar fashion you have NMN and AMP getting attached to each other. But in this, if you see, you have one phosphate extra at the second hydroxyl position of AMP. That is why it is called NADPH. So this is the difference. They are dinucleotides along with NMN. AMP is associated. But that AMP if it is having the additional phosphate at second hydroxyl group, it is called NADPH. Now coming to the production pathways of this NADH and NADPH, where they are going to get produced. So let us talk about that. If I talk to you about production of NADH. There are so many pathways which are producing NADH. And we have limited number of pathways which are producing NADPH. So let us first cover this NADPH producing pathway. They are HMP shunt pathway. Then you have malic enzyme which produces NADPH. Malic enzyme. Then you have cytosolic isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme which is a very rare enzyme found in cytosol it's a isoform of mitochondrial isocitrate dehydrogenase and its coenzyme is nadp so it produces nadph it's a very rare enzyme so these are limited pathways where by we get to have nadph and of course the hmp shunt pathway by default is the major pathway which is producing NADPH, max amount of NADPH. Now, when we talk about production of NADH, many of the oxidative pathways in our system is producing NADH. For example, the glycolysis. Glycolysis is producing NADH at glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase step. Glyceraldehyde 
थ्री फॉस्फेट डीहाइड्रोजिनेसिस स्टेप एनदर पाथवे विच इज प्रोड्यूसिंग एन ए डी एच इज टी सी साइकिल वेर एसिटाइल को ए इज गेटिंग ऑक्सीडाइज एंड लॉट ऑफ एन ए डी एच इज गेटिंग प्रोड्यूस एंड दिस एसिटाइल को ए मे कम फ्रॉम ग्लूकोज ऑक्सीडेशन वेर पायरुएट इज कन्वर्टेड टू एसटाइल को ए बाई पी डी एच कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस मे कम फ्रॉम फैटी एसिड बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन वेर एवरी साइकिल वन एसटाइल को एज प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट इज गेटिंग यूटिलाइज द टी सी एस साइकिल देन कीटोन बॉडी यूटिलाइजेशन ऑल्सो वी टेन टू गेट एसिटाइल को ए कीटोन बॉडी ऑक्सीडेशन कीटोलाइसिस वी टेन टू गेट द एसटाइल को ए इन एमाइनो एसिड कैटाबोलिज्म ऑल्सो सो देर आर मेनी सोर्सेज ऑफ एसटाइल को ए दे ऑल आर गोइंग टू गेट ऑक्सीडाइज इन टी सी एस साइकिल एंड देर थ्री एंजाइम्स ऑफ able to produce you nadh they are the enzymes in tca cycle which are able to produce you enzyme in tca cycle which are able to produce you nadh they are 1 2 3 they are isocitrate dehydrogenase they are alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase and they are malate dehydrogenase not only this even the cyclical reaction of fatty acid beta oxidation produces beta oxidation cyclical reaction produces nadh each cycle produces one nadh directly and that enzyme which is producing nadh directly in each cycle of fatty acid beta oxidation that enzyme is beta hydroxy एसाइल को ई डी हाइड्रोजनीस इंसाइम फॉर दिस डिटेल यू हैव टू सी द वीडियो ऑन फैटी एसिड बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन साइक्लिकल प्रोसेस सो देर यू विल बी सीन दैट यू हैव वन इंसाइम बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एसाइल को डी हाइड्रोजन इज नीडेड इन ईथ साइकिल ऑफ फैटी एसिड बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन दैट डायरेक्टली प्रोड्यूसेज यू एन इंडिया सो वी हैव न्यूमरस सोर्सेस ऑफ एन इंडिया जनरल बॉडी एंड इफ the utilization of nadh is there in the utilization of nadh utilization of nadh is in electron transport chain where via complex 1 it tend to send its reducing equivalent which tend to reduce the oxygen to water and in this process 2.5 atp is generated for each molecule of nadh getting oxidized in electron transport chain that is the major function of nadh so nadh is meant to produce atp in oxidative phosphorylation at electron transport chain when we talk about nadph one thing you should know that it does not produce any atp no atp production at all because its entry its reducing equivalent entry in the electron transport chain is not allowed so this is not producing any atp rather the function of this nadph is like this this nadph is maintaining the glutathione in the reduced form this maintain the glutathione in the reduced form maintain the glutathione in reduced form which does so many role in metabolic pathways this reduced glutathione acts as a coenzyme this reduced glutathione needed for amino acid transportation in mistral cycle this reduced glutathione is needed for handling the oxidative stress where it detoxifies h2o2 and convert it to water you understand we need to have hydrogen for this reduction of h2o2 which is actually donated by reduced glutathione which in turn is getting oxidized in this process the reaction which is catalyzed by glutathione peroxidase enzyme this oxidized to glutathione in turn needs reduction in presence of nadph 
and this enzyme is glutathione reductase enzyme so you should see that reduced glutathione needed to convert H2O2 to water and thus it detoxified this H2O2 otherwise this H2O2 though it is actually speaking not a free radical but it is able to generate very toxic free radical so it avoids the oxidative stress in the cell and reduced glutathione avoids the, it acts as an antioxidant and avoids the oxidative stress in the cell so a major role of reduced glutathione and for that NADPH contribution is important to recycle the reduced glutathione another role of NADPH you should know is in reductive biosynthesis where intermediates are getting reduced and the product is formed there are many pathways which are called reductive biosynthesis like fatty acid synthesis cholesterol synthesis bile acid synthesis steroid hormone synthesis these pathways steroid hormone synthesis these pathways they demand NADPH reducing equivalent so there it contributes the reducing equivalent for making of these compounds so this is the role of NADPH so you can see that I have not enumerated the ATP production at all so NADPH is having no role in ATP production because it cannot donate the reducing equivalent in the electron transport chain which the NADH can do while complex one so NADPH has rather got the role of <coughs> maintaining the glutathione in the reduced form which has got so many role uh, and NADPH has got role to donate the hydrogen in various reductive pathways. Thank you very much. So it is very important that you should know the difference between NADH and NADPH compound, the complete name and the structural difference in them, why they are dinucleotide because they have two nucleotides together NMN and AMP right and the site where they are produced and the pathways where they are utilized i have summarized this thank you very much